Today I'm pissed, there are or have been so many heinous events in our lives lately. 49 plus people gunned down in New Zealand, the opioid crisis, the college entrance fraud, and the measles epidemic. The college scandal proves to me that you can be a moron and still be rich. I'm with you on that. Having money and having brains are definitely not related. It was their ego, it was chutzpah, that made them believe they would get away with buying a place in the school of their choice for an undeserving offspring. Why would anyone want to put their child into a position that they hadn't earned, and would almost certainly fail, unless they were prepared to buy the kid good grades, for as long as it takes? You know what makes this even worse, these moronic parents didn't have to commit fraud, they could have legally put their sons or daughters into any school they wanted. No, that's not possible, any school. Heshi, what do you know that we don't? There's a right way. I'll call it the Kushner Protocol, for lack of a better term, and of course then there's the wrong way. As far as I'm concerned there is no right, as you call it way, it's all cheating, and it's the worst kind because they're stealing the seat of more deserving students, many of whom are probably from the lower income levels of society. So tell us the right way. Jared Kushner's father was a criminal, served 14 months in jail for illegal campaign contributions and other nefarious acts, so he must have learned something. He used the donation tactic. He pledged two and a half million dollars to Harvard. That's the protocol. Donations not bribes. That's good if you've got millions. What do you do if you only have a couple of hundred thousand? One of the people indicted paid only fifteen thousand. How would the donation tactic work in that case? I think if you don't have enough money, you need to get on one of the special committees that these colleges have. More than half the committee members send at least one child to the university. Not just anybody can get on a university committee. What you do then? That's right. What do you do then? Well let me put it this way, it's never too early to start a bribe fund. Heshi, be serious, why would someone wealthy enough to pay tuition at any university in the country risk going to jail, because they bought their child into what they considered an elite school? And, these people are on ego trips, it's about bragging rights, my little darling got into Harvard, or Princeton, or Yeshiva, or wherever the hell, they think the kid belongs and I'm willing to bet that most of the little darlings are not hung up on the school the parents picked. I didn't see any information about the performance level of these fraud children, did you? No, the media probably was trying to protect them or else they were afraid of being sued by the cheating parents. This is what's sad, we define success by focusing on academic performance, and high scores on standardized tests. This doesn't predict a true outcome. It allows entry to the best colleges and ends up creating a system that guarantees cheating, corruption, and unhappy children. I think all of the men and women involved in this fraud should get the maximum penalty allowed by law. They have desecrated the image of our educational system. They have created doubts in the minds of many who believed our educational institutions were among the best in the world. A dungeon would be too good for them.